So today we are gonna talk about using a little known tool called DuckSoup and combining it with LinkedIn to help you prospect and grow your business in terms of sales and recruiting as well. So my name is Eric Su, I'm the CEO of a digital marketing agency called Single Grain and the co-host of the daily marketing podcast, Marketing School with my co-host Neil Patel and the weekly entrepreneurial podcast, Growth Everywhere. So Duck Soup is an awesome tool. I learned about it from a friend from a group that I'm in called the Young Entrepreneurs Council. And basically Duck Soup allows you to do a couple different things. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So for me, I pay for a LinkedIn recruiter subscription because I'm always looking to recruit great people, right? You can pay for a LinkedIn sales navigator subscription as well. I recommend you know one or the other. So you're, you are gonna have to pay some money for this. And Duck Soup se separately is $15 a month. So Duck Soup, if you wanna search for it, it's D-U-X-S-O-U-P. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my LinkedIn right now. I'm gonna hit recruiter. And so I can, let's say I'm recruiting people, okay? And what I do with recruiter is, let's say I want to recruit PPC people. The great thing about Duck Soup is it allows you to visit people's profiles and endorse them at the same time. That way it shows that you're, you're actually kind of engaging with them a little bit, right? So for me, in my subtitle, in my LinkedIn, you can see, for me, you can see, okay, Great, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm at Single Grain, and but in my subtitle it says we're looking to hire great PPC, social media, and salespeople to join our marketing agency. So it's very direct about what we're looking for. So what Duck Soup does is I can visit a couple hundred profiles a day for specific keywords that I'm looking for, and these people can say, oh, this Eric guy's a little interested. Maybe I'm going to visit his profile. And what after what, what will happen afterwards is, you know, I'm going to endorse them as well. They're going to add me to their network, and then we can start a conversation that way. So it's a little warmer. You could do the same thing for this for sales as well. So I'm going to show you Duck Soup in action a little bit. So let's say you know I'm looking for an account executive, okay? So a salesperson. So I have this um, the query already saved. You can do this in Sales Navigator as well. And so account executive in Los Angeles, okay? Marketing, advertising, three to ten years of experience has a keyword AdWords in there. So I'm looking for someone that's very specific. And Duck Soup, you can see it's already been activated. I have a little Chrome extension here, and all I need to do is I just need to start hitting Visit Profiles, right? And before it tells me to start visiting profiles, it says, okay, do we want to message connections automatically? So if anybody's a first degree connection, I'm trying to invite them to a dinner maybe in New York, I can hit all those people and when I visit them, it sends them a message automatically. Makes things a lot easier. If I'm looking for CEOs, I can do that, right? Um, auto connecting with people. You might not want to do that because if you try to auto connect with everybody, LinkedIn is going to detect that and they might, they might just block your account. Um, and I've been, you know, I've been blocked you know, a little bit in the past. You want to make sure that you're not being overly spammy about this stuff, okay? You're not abusing their, their terms of service. Um, and then, you know, auto endorsing on the top three and then revisiting after seven days. So you can set certain kind of criteria and, and uh, that, that you want this, this tool to follow, okay? So also at the same time, DuckSoup just added the ability to look for email addresses other than your first degree connection. So what's great about this is a lot of people in LinkedIn, they have their personal email in there, right? So if you wanted to take this to another level, you wanted to start retargeting these people, uh, take an Excel sheet, put it into Facebook, put it into Google, um, you could do that. I don't recommend it. It's against the terms of service, but you could do that if you wanted to. So for me, I'm just going to put no thank you. I'm not looking to do that. I just want to visit profiles. So all I do is hit OK. And then now Duck Soup is starting to visit profiles. So what it, what's important for you to understand is that you cannot let your computer go on idle when this is happening. So I recommend downloading an app in Mac called Caffeine. Caffeine will keep your computer on indefinitely. Keep it plugged in um, and just you know keep it in the background running and you're just visiting profiles over and over and it's just gonna endorse people. So you can see in the corner right here, I'm already starting to visit people, okay? So that's basically it around Duck Soup. Um, you know, I recommend in Recruiter, it's not going to work this way. I'm just showing you it for the sake of showing you. you. You probably need to use Sales Navigator and have that query saved. And then from there, for recruiting purposes, for sales purposes, at the end of the day, you're going to be able to, to well, find great people. And then also you can find their email addresses as well. Start to build prospect lists on those. You can use different uh, tools that I'll talk about later as well. So I'm just curious. I mean, if you like... You know, if, you're, if, you're, if you've done stuff like this and if, before, if you have other tools that you can recommend, leave them in the comment, you know, I'll, I'll respond. I'm just interested in seeing what you people are using. And if you like videos like this around entrepreneurship and marketing, to keep watching, just hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.